I am Bast. Welcome, Bast. From Egypt. Oh, fabulous. Your timing has been awaited. Thank you for coming through today. You are with the Huglo group members on a live webinar. Would you be happy to take questions or would you like to share something with us right now? Let me share something first. I was, as you know, in the past a powerful female, but other than that, I want to share that I was loving and playful. I was giving and honest. But when it came time to protect my people, I was a strong warrior. But yet, today is a day of love. And therefore, I give you my love and playfulness. Then I will answer questions. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. Uh, could you please describe yourself to us? Because I'm confused. Are you the cat-like entity or...? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm a lion. Aha, uh -huh, okay. I get you. No, but I can you. also be associated with the common domestic cat. But I was really a lioness. Do you have a relationship with the Lyran species? Is this connected? There is some relation. It is not direct. We are cousins in some senses. Uh -huh. Thank you. The, is the Sphinx a link to you? It is. In how? In what way? I was the most popular of the ancient goddesses. Therefore, my likeness is very multiple. Bas, may I request, please, uh, as a goddess in your society, uh, how did you practice within that position? How did I practice? Yes, what was your role? My role was leadership. I was one of the only female leaders with power. There was no male except for Ta and Amun. But they gave me power to rule in some areas of the south of Egypt because they had to be other places. Who are they, by the way? You're saying hey, they. Who are they? Ta and Amun are my husbands. Uh -huh. Also, it has been said that I was created by Ra. He is the one who put the power in me, but he is not directly my father. Thank you. I, I have a question. How is Ra and how is Ra related to Yahweh? They are sometimes as one. It depends on how they want to interact with humanity. Because I've heard that a Lord Yahweh in the ancient biblical times 
uh, in the Bible, in the Old Testament, they always talk of a lesser gods. And then they talk about the, the big god is what we call yes. God. But the lesser gods, the extraterrestrial ones that saw themselves as gods. But they said Yahweh, and I was wondering if Yahweh was a lesser god. Yahweh on the level of Ra. That is correct. Is Ra on the same level as an angelic, an angel, or a little lesser? No. Lesser. Okay, thank you. But much greater than humanity, of course. And much greater than many of the species that is were Ra. of the time. They Was were leaders Ra. in the galaxy, even uh -huh. then. So is Ra considered an Elohim? He is not. Okay. Hello, Bast. 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 I'm sewing. That is okay. My name is Shir, and i wondering if I had any past life in your period. You did. Can you tell me if we had any relationship? You were of a high estate in that time. But it is not for me to speak of that at this time. Mm -hmm. Buzz, I have a question. Regarding the... Uh, the ancient temp temples in Egypt and the Sphinx itself, they're de de deteriorating, they're getting destroyed. So can you do something about saving it, or this is out of hand? The, the temple at Bubastia was destroyed, but there are still many evidences of us there. Your planet is barbaric and was even more so then than now. Consciousness of greatness flew through many minds because they could see opportunities. But I was strong and it was not destroyed during my lifetime. Bubastia was still there, the temple. What about the destruction? Can you save it? There is not to be saved anything that has been destroyed, unless you go back into your era's true dimensional patterns. But I am not at liberty to change what has happened. But there are things there that will speak about me even more than what they have found. The time period that this took place where you were physically in that time period, is that after uh, the destruction of Atlantis? Yes. So this would be what, Sumerian time, six to seven, eight thousand years ago? It would be what you would call almost 3,000 years before Christ. Oh, okay. So well within the time. Okay. Thank you. Actually, 2,870 years before Christ. Uh, hello, Bast. Bast, yes. Continue. Oh, nice. It is nice to meet you. Um, he, um, it is known in our timeline that you are called the goddess of fertility. Did you deal with any fertility things in your timeline? I am always seen with a litter of kittens. That is why that is so. But I was actually a warrior goddess. That was my first title. Before I became a fertility goddess, Do you understand? I had Nubian attacks that I must confront, and so that I was considered a lady of destruction or a lady of power, strength. 
That what was other, my first title. What other so, races did you interact with at that time? What other races, extraterrestrial races? I would not interact personally with other species other than the humans because I was not a male. The males interacted with other species. I was subservient to Ta and Atum. So I did not interact with them, but I was given power of the south of Egypt to act as I will because they knew I was strong. Were you born half human or your genetics or was it a mixture or did you come from off world? That is a very interesting question. I was born on your world, but I am actually ancestry-wise not part of it. Ah, thank you. So, who is the being known as uh, Zetmet? Zetmet is also known as Mephurium Tum in your language, Menfurtum. He is the god of several things. War, he's actually a god of scents and spices, perfumes, and herbs. Do you know this? Uh, yes. No. Um, the only information that we have on Zeckman is that uh, he was actually a female warrior that bathed in the blood of her enemies. Interesting. Actually, it was a male with feminine characteristics, but very vitally a warrior. I have a question from Hyam. That's very feminine. That is why it's depicted as female at times. I have a question Continue. from Yes, uh, Hyan asks a question. Uh, Hyan wanted to know when was the Phoenix built? It was after my time, but only slightly. Okay. Twenty seven hundred years before Christ. Actually, some dated older, but it was changed. So their readings are not quite correct. And also, Hyan wanted to know, was there others from your race at that time that was there? Oh, many. My husband's Atum and Ta were there. Also, after and before, there were many. My children, of course, were gods and goddesses of a lower rank because of their personalities were not as strong. They did not take leadership abilities, but shared the accustomed hierarchy that they deserved. Also, there was Nephratus and many others. As you know, many names. I can go into many names, but it is not necessary. But there are many. Zakut. Yes, and one last thing from Hayan. Yes. Is yes. One last thing from Hayan. Also, where did they come from? Like different star systems. Was it Sirius? Andromeda, as you call it. Yes. At this point, beyond the Andromeda section, where there is other canine species, cousins, cat, cat species, in Pleiadian space, etc., we are a cat species, lion. Are you also related to any of the Syrian energies? We have been there. 
we have met them and have had many relations with them, but we cannot breed with them. Thank you. That's all I have. I have uh, a Kim question. has a question for you, uh, Bast. Go ahead. Yes, Bast, hello. Uh, again, I'd like, just like to ask you, I am assuming uh, that you are in spirit. I'm wondering, do you function as a higher self to uh, any earthly beings right now, or do you yes. exist as a spirit guide, or just in the collective? I do function in many ways still. A higher self and also on a council of the ascended masters. I am considered a high spirit, having experienced many lifetimes as a leader. Thank you. Thank you very much. Fast, I have one question, please. Um, I'm so fascinated about the Egyptian culture and Egyptian tradition, the ancient Egyptian one. If you meditate according to that, like the Sphinx, the pyramids, could you get the energy from that? It is still available in the pyramids. If you were to enter, you would feel a strangeness. Although the air is not the same, because it is filled with other elements now. The crystals clarified the air and energized it, and now the air is stuffy. But the energy can still be felt in some of the rooms that still have crystals within the walls that are unknown. When you walk the earth, did you use the temples or the the um, the pyramids as teleportation, transportation, at, at that of time? Of course. And we had our places in the south as well, but Atum and Ta had more power when it came to moving to other places, having not had the pyramids in the south. But the temple was also very powerful at yes. the best. Yeah. So they did have crystals on top, triangular. They, yes, before I moved to the south, I was there to see them. A grand sight, of course. Yes. And many of the kings found me very beautiful. And with my energy and strength and confidence, I was able to conquer the Nubians. Uh, uh, speaking of Nubians, um, was Anubis a being who existed within your time? Anubis was the god of the dead. He would be the one that prepared the pharaohs for their journey across the great river to eternity. That is how we believed in it at that time. Our belief systems have changed since then, but Anubis was a powerful and feared Wait, he was feared? Yes, because he could control what happens after death. At least that's how they believed. And he could control what beings were to die with the pharaohs and be with them on the trip. So he was feared by the servants, the those close to human pharaohs. Now, with the gods and the goddesses, we were taken away. We were not 
sent through that means to get to our paradise. Oh, you also mentioned that you conquered the Anubians. Like, uh, what do you mean? There was, like, conflicts that went on between the two races. They had a very powerful king that wanted our land. But we knew where our end and our beginning were. So we kept them at bay. And finally, they became part of us. We conquered them and took their land. Um, getting some energies. Was I, have I ever encountered you in Egypt before? Yes. Um, are you able to say what happened? You were one of my great slaves. You were one of my many that I could trust. You were a woman at that time. But strong in mind and took no deter deterrence from anyone. You were very loyal. Very strong and studied the magic of the ancients. Uh, your race, what is the name of it? There is no name that you have for our race. Okay, we, I'd like to ask, sorry Bass, please carry on. We go by the name of the raw That is our species. Many thanks. Um, I would like to ask the people in the room with you if they have any questions to ask you. Continue. If there are no others here, no yes. Answers. Continue. Okay, Bust, I have two burning questions. The first one is, um, why is the half-hybrid entities that were tied down to this Egyptian civilization, the ancient Egyptian, Egyptian civilization, was tied down to Egypt and nowhere else? That's one. Okay? The other question, I'll ask it afterwards. Because of who we were and the time that we were in, we wanted to study we were not interested in world interaction necessarily. It did happen. But we were there to study and to understand the things that were, were important to us. Also, Egypt is a dry land, desert, like our own home world. It was more comfortable to be there than anywhere else. Okay. The other question, uh, what, have you reincarnated after that? Have I what? Reincarnated after that? Of course. After being but as not, what? But not on this world. I uh -huh. only spent one life on your planet. Okay. I okay, spent what, what is time in the spiritual realm rather than going life to life because I have learned much from the experiences I had in a spiritual realm that was higher than the one I am in now. It is mm -hmm. difficult to explain. I understand. Um, have, I, have I ties with uh, Egypt? Because I'm, I'm so fascinated about it. There is many ties with you. You've been there many times in past uh -huh. life. This is why. Okay. As something, as a figure, something. It is not for you to know at this time. 
Okay, great. No problem. Thank you very much and we'll appreciate it. Thank you. Caroline? Yes, hi there. Um, Bast, was I in around your time? You were in Egypt, but not at my time. Okay. Yeah. You were uh -huh. earlier and then again later. Okay. Um, and how tall are you? How tall were you? I'm about six foot tall on your planet. When I was on your planet. Okay, thank you. Bast, I have a question about the Sphinx. It's always been something I've been fascinated with. Underneath it is. the Sphinx, was there a chamber in your time, or let's say chambers, and what were they used for? The Sphinx was after my time, but I know that there are chambers under there, yes. Thank you. There are many things there that will surprise you. Bust. Yes, I feel this too. Please be sure to put the at the end. Bust. That is the feminine pronunciation. Bass. Yes. Thank you, Basta. Yes. I have a question. I have a question about the Hebrews in Egypt and the Exodus story, if you are familiar. Ah, uh, that was a... Yes, I am aware of the story. It you is an interest. The story is not exactly the same. But it did happen in many ways the same. But there are many large differences. Your 40 years in the desert was actually 60. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. At least by my calculations and our recollection of that proper history. What about the destruction of Egypt when um, the Pharaoh didn't let Moses and his people go? Was that correct? The correct parts, yes. There were some plagues. The fact that his son died became known throughout the world. As he denied there was a god and God smote his son. This was the thing that was most important about that particular period. It promoted the single God and the power that he had. The Hebrews, the one that they worshipped. Yes, the Hebrew God. The Elohim? Elohim is beneath the Creator God. Ah, yes. Creator of worlds and the Elohim, yes. I must go now. Thank you. Namaste, Bast. Thank you for coming. Uh, today. Thank you. Yeah, you suck at you. with your festival of love and understanding. Be playful. Playful is important because you cannot be a war person without playfulness. You cannot be Thank strong you. without playfulness. Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you. Much love. Nice day.